What's up, everybody, on this beautiful Sunday afternoon? This is Maxi Collier coming to you from Los Angeles, California. I want to take a few moments to read from a book that's been very influential for me and many other people. Think and Grow Rich, first written in 1937 by Napoleon Hill, incorporates concepts of business, entrepreneurship, and successful life principles, which we find so popular and so common in documentaries like The Secret and the teachings of folks like Anthony Robinson and any number of success and life coaches. I want to take a second to read from page 92 and this section is called the laws that lead to fortune. The earth on which you live, you yourself and every other material thing are the result of evolutionary change through which microscopic bits of matter have been organized and arranged in an orderly fashion. Moreover, and this statement is of stupendous importance. This earth and every one of the billions of individual cells in your body and every atom of matter begin as an intangible form of energy. Desire is thought impulse. Thought impulses are forms of energy. When you begin with the thought impulse desire to accumulate money, you are drafting into your service the same stuff that nature used in creating this earth and every material form in the universe, including the body and the brain in which the thought impulses function. You can build a fortune through the laws which are, you can build a fortune through the aid of laws which are immutable. But first, you must become familiar with these laws and learn to use them. Through repetition and by approaching the description of these principles from every conceivable angle, the author hopes to reveal to you the secrets through which every great fortune has been accumulated. Strange and paradoxical as it may seem, the secret is not a secret. Nature herself advertises it in the earth on which we live, the stars, the planets suspended within our views, in the elements above and around us, in every blade of grass, in every form of life within our vision. The principles which follow will open the way for understanding of imagination. Assimilate that which you understand as you read this philosophy philosophy for the first time, then when you reread it and study it, you will discover that something has happened to clarify it and give you a broader understanding of the whole. Above all, do not stop nor hesitate in your study of these principles until you have read the book at least three times, for then you will not want to stop. This is my second, this is my third time I've read this book, written, I've read this book twice in the past 20 years. Now, for the third time, I'm combing through it, appreciating it with a new maturity. So I just wanted to share that for some of our folks from transmediamakers.com, the e-learning center. If you have any questions, post them in the comment. Look forward to seeing many of you participate in our online training courses. This is Maxi Collier. Thank you for watching.